Hello everyone. So today we are in our block two of topic eight and that will be the second video lesson that you guys will be watching and complete. So um, our block two will talk about modeling and solving linear equations and we're going to cover page one to seven and then the rest of it will be just another video. So in the overview, um, first video, we observed the Krapkos and how they grow. Now we're going to play animation that will analyze Sapko alien family. So family member is number one, has two body sections and three uh, hairy legs. Family member two has four body sections and three legs. And you can see that they doubled here. We have one base over here and tripled over there. So family member, um, family member number three has six body sections in three legs. What is the same in each family member and what is different? So um, by playing the animation, we will see some of those answers of the two questions here. All right, so the two body sections and the three legs presented in the first one. Then you can see now the four body sections highlighted with the three legs. We have another one, six body sections highlighted and the three legs. So if you look at the pattern, how they increased, uh, every time we move from one body to another, we're adding uh, one additional uh, body section. All right, and our next animation, we can see those three together and we're gonna make a table. So family member number X, we have one, and that family member has two body, um, two parts as a base times the first one plus three legs, which is equal five total body par parts. Then family two now has two by two base plus three legs, which gives us total of seven body parts. And the last one has three of two uh, body base. So now the question is, if I have family member X, what will be the total parts of the body? So basically in the middle here in that part, we are having actually right here. So this is our algebraic rule. Uh, if you think about it, um, X times two is equal to uh, X times two plus three actually are, we can also um, rewrite this as a two X plus three. So if I want to know what uh, will be family number five and how many total body uh, parts we're going to get, then I just need to substitute X with five and do the calculations. Okay, well, let's take a look of the next. So what do we have here? So we are having described exactly the situation with that. So 2x plus 3 equals y and uh, 5 family number. If we substitute x with 5, you can see in our blue, uh, uh, blue small table here, our background, it says we multiply first, which is 10 plus 3, so y will be equal 13. 13 total um, body parts for family number 5. All right, in the next page, now we're going to use this table and we're going to grab our points and we're going to plot those points in the graph and we'll see what the graph is going to look like. So each point has coordinates of X and Y. X is our number family um, and total body parts is our Y. So we grab all those X and Y coordinates. We plot the points and we're going to get, when we connect the points, we are going to get our straight line. And again, when we, I just want to remind you, when we are graphing, our X coordinate represents family number um, member. So that's my first column. And this, the third column here, which is the total body parts, is our Y axis. And the equation of this particular line or function is 2x plus 3 equals y. All right, so three things together, table, 
line and coordinate points. So now what do we have? You discover that um, Sabaku family's growth pattern follow the rule 2x plus 3 equals y. Now, can you solve the puzzle to answer the questions about the Sabaku family? So which family member has 13 total body parts? And if we go back, just to take a look of our um, page 2, just to look at our family that had 13 body parts, that was number five, family member number five. So how many total body parts will Sabaku family member number 10 have? Okay, well, we know that if we know the um, member number, we can substitute up here in the equation 2x plus three, equals y and this is going to give us the answer so let's do that 2 times 10 instead of x will be 20 plus 3 will give us 23 so i'm going to just move this piece of the puzzle down here last question write an equation for sabaku family number seven okay so we have two times seven because that's the family two times seven plus three well two times seven is 14 plus three will give us 17 so there will be total 17 body parts for family member number seven okay we will submit the answer seems like we did a good job and now we're ready to move to the next page all right, so in this page, the picture you see here is a uh, part of gra graphing calculator. Graphing calculator is very useful and handy when we talk about equations and graphing because they can do a lot of work for us. So if I have the equation y equals 2x plus 3 and I type that equation, I can graph the equation so you will see on the next um page or animation we have the table the table immediately gives us some random points we can always make a table with um, coordinates of 0 to 6 0 to 100 if we want to and then we're going to get what y is equal to what is equal to the equation and to get y we substitute every single number for x down here into the equation to calculate what y is going to be so for example the first one x is 0 so 2 times times 0 will be 0 plus 3 will give us 3. That's how we know why 1 is 3. Uh, but again, if you have a graphing calculator, that job will be done for you. You don't have to uh, calculate each one of those. Okay, so let's take a look at the graph. So if we plot the points from the table, this is what we're going to get. And it tells us that the Sabak family number 0 will have three body parts and then we can um, we increase that based on which family member we're talking about. All right, so on the next page, what do we have? You can think of an equation as a balance scale. So now we're going to take a look at a couple of pages, how to balance those equations and what they look like using algebraic tiles. Both sides of the equal sign must total the same quantity. So we want the left side to be equal to the right side. For example, if 5 equals 2 plus 3, then we can model that this 5 will be equal to 2 plus 3 other units. Okay, well, let's play that and see what it shows us. Okay, so we are showing that the scale is balanced with that. All right. So now let's move to the next um, animation. What do we have here? We have 4 equals 1 plus x. So in this scale, we have 4 cubes on the left. They should be equal to 1 plus something unknown. So the unknown thing we call x. And we want to know how many cubes will be in this x box here. Uh, in order to make the scale equal. And probably some of you already are thinking, oh, that's three because one plus three is four. And you will be right. But let's take a look of how this is shown with the animation. So we have four equals one plus X. If we take one away from each other in order to balance the scale, which means we will subtract one from the left and one from the right, we will get x equals 3. We will see what is left over and that will be the answer. 
for our unknown variable. All right, another one. So now, if we have, oh, that just shows us how many cubes are in that um, X box. All right, so if we have two X boxes here, two unknown, three cubes on the left side of the balance scale, and we have three by four, 12, and another three, 15 total body parts on the right, how are we gonna write the equation and what would those two unknown be equal to? Okay, so we have 2x plus 3 equals 15. That's how the equation will be set up based on the picture we see. So now, we, our next step will be to move away 3 from the left and 3 from the right because we want to balance the scale and just um, leave the unknown ones. All right, so minus three on the left, minus three on the right, and that will give us what is left is two x, two unknown, equal to 12 cubes. Okay, so if I move to the next um, animation, you will see how the problem is solved algebraically as well. So we have 2x equals 12. Now, can we break those into two groups? And yes, we can, 2x could be separated into two individual groups and our 12 blocks total could be separated into two equal groups. So we're gonna get that x1 unknown will be equal to six blocks exactly. All right, well, I hope that um, by looking at the animation, it kind of makes sense for now. We're going to do some more examples, but uh, really the undo operation of getting rid of some of the extra cubes that are going along with the unknown stuff is what our goal is going to be. All right, so the Sabak family has many family members. We're gonna use uh, that row and we're gonna solve for X by adding or dragging away blocks. Remember to keep the scale balance, do the same thing to each one of the sides. So if we add something here, we add here. If we wanna take away from left, we have to take away some uh, same thing from the right in order to keep the balance always, um, the scale always balanced. Okay, so on the left, we have two unknown and three cubes. And right here on the right, seems like we have a total of 27 body parts. All right, so what I will do first, I'm going to get rid of those three, right? Because we want to have only the unknown left, and then we're going to separate into two groups, seems like. So I'm going to remove this one, two, three, and I will remove three from here, one, two and three. All right, so now next step will be to divide into two groups and submit. If I divide by two groups and submit, there is what is left in one group. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. 12 cubes and we're gonna check. Yes, so that is the correct answer here. Awesome. All right, next one. So, in the next one, they're giving another example with graphing calculator. When you solve the equation 2x plus 3 equals 27, to answer the question which Sabaku family member has 27 total um, body parts, did you use a balance scale on the previous page or did you use another method? Uh, you may solve to use the table, graph, or algebraic steps. Here are those methods. So, if, if you look at on the left here, we have solution using a table with graphing calculator. We have solution using a graph, same thing with graphing calculator. We can always um, make that table on a piece of paper and graph it as well. And we have solution symbolically, which means this is our algebraic method to solve the equation. 2x plus 3 equals 27. We remove 3 away from the left and 3 away from the right. We end up with 2x equals 24, and then we divide it by 2, which gave us x equals 12.
Um, we can check always. The question here is, can there be a Sabaku family member with an even number of body parts? And the answer is no. I want you to refer back to this uh, table up here and you will see that um, this is not going to work because uh, all the numbers for Y are odd numbers. So not possible. All right. And the last page, I believe number seven. So you have solved equations using a table graph balance scale. Can you just pick one equation from the given and make your balance? Of course we can. So let's say I want to do this one. 10 equals 5x minus 5. So on the left side of my balance, I need to have 10 positive um, units or cubes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. On the right side now, I will have 5x, which is 5 unknown. 1, 2. Okay, let me move those here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then minus 5. So I need 5 negative um, balloons, I guess, over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, awesome. So left side 10, right side again checking 5x minus 5, and we're going to check the model just to see. So it says you have modeled the equation correctly. Very good. And I'm going to click on the next panel to see what is the next question. Set the values A, B, and C from the drop menu to create an equation AX plus B equals C. All right, so if I have 3x plus Three, for example, will be equal to what? Zero. Okay, so 3x plus 3 equals zero. This is an equation, random equation. I just chose from the drop menu and I'm going to make the model. So 1, 2, 3, 3x plus 3, 1, 2, 3 cubes will be um, equal to zero. All right, well, I guess that's all because that's what the balance is on the right side, zero. Check the model. Yes, we have modeled that uh, correctly. Um, very quickly, one more. We're going to, uh, yes, we want to get rid of this. Let's say 6x plus negative 2 equal to negative 2. All right, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, and two negatives on the left side, and then one, two on the right side. Check the model, and we have the model um, correctly um, described. All right, so we're going to stop here. That was our second video lesson. Please, if you need to rewatch it again or if you want to practice yourself, you can always go to right here, the site block two of topic eight and explore some of the modeling and solving linear, linear equations um, practice examples. And let me know if you have any questions under the discussion board or when we get to chat together. Thank you for watching the video and have a great day, everybody.